we suddenly found ourselves engaged in a mortal struggle with an enemy who could be counted on for nothing except bitter and fanatic opposition. The governor and I both uh, spoke to the president uh, earlier. On December 8th, the president asked Congress to declare a state of war. And uh, the, the message that they gave us, uh, just to simplify it, is that we're going to fight back. My name is Hari Bhajan Shastri. I am a priest. My name is Yuri Kochiyama. My name is uh, Alex Goldsmith. Um, my name is Shakray Agi. I'm, I'm a mother of three. I've been married to my husband for almost 10 years now. Mosques and places of worship perceived to be mosques suffered September 11th related backlash violence. Everything is gone, but uh, I'm hoping that future will be all right. Before World War II, when I was a teenager, which would be like in the 1930s. War, war with the United States. Japan has attacked Pearl Harbor from the air. And I wasn't at home but a few minutes when I see three tall men, I see them through the window, that they're in front of our door. And so as soon as they knock, I went to the door and they asked, if there were Seichi Nakahara living there. And I said, oh yes, that's my father and he's very sick. And they came right in, showed me their FBI cards and went to where my father was sleeping and woke him up, told him to put on his bathrobe and slipper and they went right out. It's September 11th, we are uh, detainees for uh, INS. They just pick people up and just leave them here. They don't even come over here and tell us nothing. You know, my children hasn't seen their, their father and he hasn't seen them or, you know, us, all of us, haven't been together for 15 months now. And, you know, that's two birthdays for each one of them that has passed that he hasn't seen. Bye, New York. It's not just statistics and it's not just numbers, it's actual names and lives that are being affected by this. I think there are many Americans who are fed up with all the unrighteous things that America has done. There has been so much of racial profiling the Arabs, the Muslims, the Sikhs, and South Asians. Whatever their ancestry is, anybody that looked a little different were targets. And that kind of reminds me of our own situation. And we had to stop it. Keep talking about world peace and, and being a, a loving, you know, country, things like that. It has to start sometimes. And I think that, you know, it's really time. We should not do this to each other and we should live peacefully in this world because this is such a nice world for the human being.